How to create a Facebook business page step by step. Hello everyone. So today we're going to be creating our own Facebook page for our business and we're going to do this step by step so all of us can create a professional and a really nice Facebook page that can get people to visit your website, visit your business and be converting customers. So to get started, simply log on to your pre-existing Facebook account. You do need to have your own account and then click on the top right menu. Once you click on this menu icon over here, you're going to click on pages on the bottom left. Once you click on pages, you're going to click on create new page on the left. From here, you can proceed with your page creation. So for any business, the first step is to add your page name. For us, this is going to be Meraki. And once we do that, we are going to add the category. So the category refers to the type of business this is. So for us, this is a clothing brand. Now, the reason why I haven't selected clothing store maybe might be because this is not just a shop, but I also have online platforms where I'm selling my products. So you want to select a category that most closely resembles your business. After that, you're going to add a bio. So we're going to add we prioritize quality fabrics for a luxurious experience for a luxe experience like so. And once we do that, we are going to click on create page on the left and we can proceed with setting up the rest of our page. Now, once we click on create page, one thing to note is that there is some content you have to create for your Facebook pages. A lot of people directly just, you know, take photos from their phone and start posting them on their page. And that does not give a professional or a business image. So for that purpose, you need to take the content that you have and you need to just make it a bit more professional. You need to make it a bit more specific. Mm, I'll have to choose a different name. Let's say our brand name is Emerald. Melbourne, Victoria, Emerald by Lily. And now I'll click on create page. It's having certain issues right now. So I'm just going to refresh this and we're going to go back into the page creation. And we're going to specify this, click on create page. So now our page has been created and we can proceed with the next step. Now over here, we have a very basic page structure. It's going to look empty and we can get started with uploading our content. So first I'm going to switch my profile from the top right onto my Miraki page. I'm going to change it up like so. And once you do that, you will see your new page. You have marketing and promotional email. So I want to access that and I'm going to click on use. Now from here, it's time to upload your profile picture. This is one of the most important steps. People often skip out whenever you're creating a new page. So you're going to upload your business logo here. Now, if you don't have a business logo, simply head on over to Canva. And once you go into Canva, you can just search for a logo in Canva. Now, once you search for a logo in Canva, you will see there are a bunch of different logos available. So I'll just use, let's say, this one over here and I'll click on customize this template. And I'm going to change the letter to just say M. And I'm just going to resize it a little, make it slightly smaller, realign it and I'm going to write by Lily. And then once I've done that, I can just ensure everything is centered because it does not look very centered right now, like so. And once I have placed everything correctly, I can click on share, download, and I'll click on download over here. And then you can upload this as your profile picture on Facebook. This is a really important step that a lot of people skip out on. And if you don't upload a logo or a profile image, that just significantly decreases the trust that people have in your business. So if you're just using a font on your stores, then you can just use the same font in Canva and create a simple logo. Click on upload photo over here. And from here, you can just use the logo that you just created. I don't think our logo has been downloaded yet. I'm just going to click on share, click on download, and I'll just have to download this once more. And now I'm going to click on upload file and we're going to upload our new 
logo image. Now from here you can also zoom into the image. I am going to zoom in a little because I want my logo to be as visible as possible. So you can zoom in as much as you want and then click on save on the bottom right. Once you have saved this, it's time to add a cover photo. Your cover photo again needs to illustrate your business to some extent. So you can again go into Canva and you can search for Facebook cover and you can use a image from your most recent photo shoot or you can also use images from any of the content that you have created for your page. I'm going to be using this image over here and instead of the standard image I can just go into uploads on the left and I can upload a image from my own business like so. So I'm going to do a little smart crop over here. And then we're just going to resize it over here like this. And then I'm going to place this at the center, place this like so. I think the old image looked better. I, I'm just going to proceed with the stock, the other stock image. I think it suits the theme a bit better. So I'm going to go ahead, click on download, and then I can download this as a PNG. You can take any of your own photos and add them to this template or any other template that you like, and then click on upload photo. Then you're just going to open up that photo and now you have a professional cover image as well. Click on save changes over here and now your cover image has been added. Below that you are going to start adding information about your business. So on the left you have your page health and in your page health it's going to display it's currently fair but it's time to start adding a introduction. So click on add bio to add a bio. So this is a clothing store for everyone. And then I can click on save. You want to add your unique selling point in this intro as well. So let's say I'm trying to make it more inclusive so I can make it about how it's a clothing store for everyone. Then after that, you can click on edit details to edit details about your business. You can also add any of your accolades or your shop location over here as well. Then you can go into all photos and delete the stock image that is added to your particular store or to your particular business page and then click on edit on the top right. Once you do that, you can go on ahead and customize some of your favorite photos to add them as a featured collection. And now you can start creating your posts. So in that, you can click on create post. And usually for a business page, I would recommend something like a countdown. So welcome to Meraki's first Facebook launch. We're coming soon with exclusive discounts and more like so. And you can add any imagery, any type of content, and then click on post over here. So just like that, you can proceed with the creation of your business page on Facebook. You also can access your professional dashboard from the left, as well as other analytical tools that can help you in boosting your page and its ability to grasp more attention. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.